Okay, um, I had a request recently for parsing technology. So uh, what we're wanting out of this one is here in the subject line, you can see we have a name on the end. Now, um, we could pull this name, obviously, just by using the right words function if we knew how many words and so on. So in an individual example like this, we know it's three words. We could pull it off the end without any problem. But that's not what we're really trying to accomplish here. We, we know that we're going to run this on each email as it runs through and the name on the end is going to vary in length. It could be one word, it could be empty. Uh, it could be three words, four words, whatever. So we're going to make a calculation that will work regardless of length. And uh, I'm gonna use a couple of tools that were, are only available in FileMaker Pro Advanced, but uh, they're not necessary for creating calculations. I just wanna show you uh, kind of two things at once here. I'm showing the data viewer. Um, if you're in the script debugger, by the way, this button is the data viewer. Clearly, it's also available on the Tools menu. So in the data viewer, we have two sides. This is the current side, which shows you any current variables, uh, the current values of fields that are within the scripts. Uh, but we're using the watch side. And on the watch side, we can create uh, a calculation. And we can actually see the results of it. For instance, that subject that we were talking about is right here. And we can say, show me what the subject evaluates to. Cool. Well, there you go. So there's the table and field, and here's what's in it. So as I said before, if I, if what I wanted was to use the right words, I would come up here, probably limit this to just the text functions, come down here to write words. Uh, and then here we see placeholders for all of the different parameters. So for text, I want the subject. For the number of words, I know that it's three. And evaluating that shows me exactly what you would expect. Again, because we don't know what we're going to use here, uh, you know, whether it's gonna have three or four or 15 words, we need a better calculation than that. So uh, what we would use is the middle function, but uh, I'm, I'm going to come to the middle function, but what begins to happen with this is that as we start putting our, our placeholders in here, this all gets very messy. The start of this is actually the position uh, within the subject of the, uh, let's see, the position within the subject of this character the uh, first time, I'm sorry, from the beginning, the first time you see it, uh, and, and so on. It, this all gets very messy. So what I really want to use is the let function just to kind of show that as well. Um, I'm doing a bit of pre-work here. So the way I normally do this is to lay it out like so. Here's the thing. We're going to create some variables at the top that we're going to evaluate at the end. The subject is this. It just we're, By doing this, we actually just get the variables and all the calculating of, of the individual pieces of this. We get all that calculating out of the way. Then our calculation looks really, really clean, and you'll see that here. Uh, so the subject is equal to uh, that. The other thing we're going to need before we're done is we're going to need the length of the subject, which is the length function of uh, subject. All right. And then we need the position of that uh, the uh, separator, and that is position. And again, we're going to use the position function. I'm going to just put it up here so you can see the position of within the subject. We're looking for the colon starting at the beginning, looking for it the first time. Uh, and after that, what we want down here is a result. Now, the result of this calculation could be just one, if I wanted. What we get out of this calculation is whatever I put here. So, ostensibly, we would be using all these variables we just set up. So, let's do this. Uh, if I ask for the middle of the subject starting at the position for the number of characters. Now, the number of characters is basically the length minus the position. Now, here's the thing. That's going to get us something we don't quite expect. That's very, very close, but it's not quite right because we end up with the colon and the space at the beginning, and we don't want that. So here's how you fix that. You could do it two places. One, you could do it here in this bit of calculation so that the position ends up being the position plus two. So you could even make this position is, is whatever that calculation is plus two. And uh, that actually does the trick. Uh, what I've also seen is to pull it out here so that it's actually position plus two. And if we did that, we would actually end up taking off the next two looking like that. So.
that's not what we're after. Like so. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, by the way, um, put them in the comments and uh, maybe we'll answer your question.